Hi everybody. Welcome to week two. You survived the first week. Um, if you don't mind, let's do a quick rehash of what you should have already done and then we'll move into what you should do. Okay, so uh, week one I asked you to watch my orientation video. Um, I asked you to do a practice assignment where you just uploaded pretty much any Word document you wanted to me. Thanks for all the cute dog pictures uh, and kid pictures. And here was your orientation discussion board. Remember, you were supposed to do three posts, right? One original post and two replies to classmates. And it was just basically introducing yourself to the class, saying why you were here, stuff like that. Um, and then there was an orientation quiz, which basically you know, asked you silly things like what your teacher's name is and um, how many exams are in the class, made you sort of flip through your syllabus. And that was your orientation stuff. And technically, I wanted that done by last Wednesday, but I extended it um, until Sunday to make sure you guys had enough time to get those things going. Uh, and so let's see, then we, then we went into the real week one materials, right? And I said, once you've finished your orientation stuff, hop into chapter one. Um, where you read about the basics of nutrition. Take a look at your first assignment if you had the courage. If you weren't ready, um, you didn't have to because you have two full weeks for this assignment. Do your first real discussion board and do your first Learn Smart module. Um, and so I don't mind if you didn't do your assignment, but I'm going to show you that real quick this morning if you don't mind. Um, your real discussion board, same thing. You had to do one original post and two replies. Now this came in on Sunday the 30th, and so being that today is Tuesday, September 1st, I'm starting to grade those now. So I'm getting some emails saying, hey, I turned it in by Sunday, but I didn't get a grade. And I want you to know it usually takes me a few days. Um, by Wednesday, I certainly should have your scores posted. But in the announcements, I will say I have now graded discussion board one and so then you know okay now I go check my grade book because I may grade them on and off um, throughout the week but I will be done by Wednesday um, after it's due so if it comes in on Sunday give me Monday Tuesday Wednesday to grade them and then you should see uh, an announcement saying okay I'm done go check your score so that's the first discussion board and then the first learn smart module I saw many of you did that successfully and that's great um, yeah, I think I'm going to extend the deadline for these. There were a lot of you that had trouble getting your book, uh, had trouble getting the courtesy access if you needed that. Um, so I think I'm going to reopen Chapter 1, and that way Chapter 1 and 2 will be due by Sunday, September the 6th, this coming Sunday. That'll give you a little extra time if for whatever reason you didn't get that done. So that was last week in a nutshell, right? So now we're into week two. You see how fast these semesters online classes go by. Um, we are in week two, which is August 31st through September the 6th, and we're working on chapter two. I want to show you your first assignment. Uh, let's do that now. So if you go into D2L, right, you go to your Sac City homepage, you go to D2L and you log in. And you click on our online class. And you say, okay, where do I go to do my assignment? I'm ready. Uh, remember to go to content. That's where everything is found. So I'll click on content. And here we are. Let's click on week two. Uh, remember, all, all the week one stuff is there, by the way, if you want to go back. And here is your first assignment, assignment one, three-day food journal. Now, please note, we are not using the diet analysis software yet. We are just journaling what you eat and drink for three days. So if I click on the link there, it has some detailed instructions. The reason for the detail is um, I need you to measure stuff. If you say, I, I had a bagel with cream cheese, I don't know how much cream cheese you used. And so I want you to be as anal as you can about this food journal. And I want you to measure out about two tablespoons or whatever it is you use on your bagel. Otherwise, you'll have no idea how many grams of fat, how much calories when it comes time to put that into your diet analysis software. So at the bottom, 
if you notice, um, it'll say assignment one student example. And if I click on that, what I've given you is um, a student from a previous semester who did a really good job made an Excel template and it made it really easy for me to grade. Um, here's the day, the date, the time, what she ate, how much she ate, you know, what one cup, one tablespoon, uh, where she was um, at work, at school, her activity, what she was doing, whether she was driving her car or watching TV, what her mood was, whether others were present and your degree of hunger, meaning if you're a one, you're not very hungry, you're just eating because you're bored or whatever. And if you're a 10, you're starving and about to eat someone's leg. So, um, and those are all the things I asked you for in the directions. So let's say you like her format and you want to make life easy on your teacher. Um, you could just highlight and delete her information and then type in your own information. You know, today is September 1st and, oh, whoops. It's a Tuesday and it's September 1st. You know, you get my point. You could type in your own information that way. Save that to your desktop and then submit that on or before Sunday at midnight. Last thing about the directions is I asked you to do two weekdays and one weekend day. The reason for that is, you know, the weekdays you eat kind of normal and then the weekends people usually kind of cheat a bit. And so by having two weekdays and one weekend day, I'm hoping we get a clearer picture of what your diet looks like. So if your weekend happens to be on Wednesdays because, you know, you don't work Wednesdays or whatever, that's fine. I just want two normal days and one kind of cheat day so that you get an average picture of what you eat. So that is uh, assignment one. There's a new discussion board um, based on the content of chapter two, due by this Sunday as well. And then there's the chapter two Learn Smart modules. So that's what's expected of you. If you have any questions, I know online can feel really overwhelming. Please email me, call me, come by office hours. I'm there um, noon to one every Monday and Wednesday. Or you could call during office hours if you can't come there in person. Make sure you get the help you need. Don't feel lost and get behind. That's usually what spells doom. So I want you to do really well and get that A plus you're shooting for. All right. See you online. Bye.